Today we'll be experimenting with a few new ways to play with time in the new Solar Smash update. What's up everybody, I'm Posty, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be playing with time in ways we're not supposed to be able to. Pretty much the whole theme for this channel. Doing things we were not meant to do. So as you know, I mod Solar Smash all the time, every day of my life. And I started playing with the freeze time feature, slow down time, speed up time, and I've discovered some side effects that are actually pretty cool. All right, we've got a bunch of the space creatures set up. This is their first animation. And so what I did was freeze it, but then what I can do is actually move time backwards and it still allows things to move, but they don't behave correctly. Look at the squid dude. So he grabs a piece of the planet out. I've got it actually slow motion, but backwards. So as you can see here, he never leaves. He'll keep going. He'll keep repeating his animation and he'll keep grabbing pieces out of the planet over and over again. It's really weird. And as you can see, some of the other creatures like the Space Worm and the Phantom Slapper wearing posty purple, some of them don't move. Yeah, I first noticed it because I was doing something with the squid in time and I noticed he doesn't stop. So if we rewind time super fast, as you can see, the rotation, the rotation's backwards. Now here we go forwards, normal time, just to see how these guys behave and what happens here is they'll actually freeze in time, but certain aspects of them still animate. But what's weird is they seem to play these animations in time up until the point where I rewound. So it's as if the game is actually keeping track of time. It knows when we've gone backwards and it knows when we go forwards. So here I'll speed up time super fast. Let's go like 100x in the normal direction. And you'll see what happens is they start going through all their animations. They're ca trying to catch back up. Then once they fast forwarded back to where they're supposed to be, then they'll complete their normal animations. There they go. It was kind of too fast to see, but you get the point. So that gave me an idea of some other stuff we could experiment with. We'll get the posty slapper out and check it out. We'll freeze him. And then what we'll do is we'll go back in time and you can see exactly how he behaves. So he completely vanishes and as dust particles remain. So here we are now going the correct direction, fast forward, and then he does his thing. So the way it behaves is kind of crazy because I didn't know Solar Smash kept track of time in this way. So now let's see what happens with some other creatures. So we'll get some of these flying dudes out there, get the, get the dragon guy, and we'll grab a couple of these guys for good measure. All right, so we'll let this guy go for a second and then we'll pause it. Okay, there we go, we're paused. Now let's move time in reverse and see how they behave. Oh dude, the dragon actually keeps flapping his wings. Is he still blasting? Oh, he is. That's crazy, dude. And it's kind of made like a square hole. That is really weird. So he can't move. He's just kind of twerking there. All right, that's too close. All right, let's go back to normal speed and see what happens. Dude, they're just, so the flying dudes kind of destroyed the planet and then they went away, even though the other guys have not. So they must, maybe they work on a slightly different sort of time scale. All right, so these dudes, these phantom dudes, trying to catch up, purpling up a storm over here. So any second, we're gonna see them strike and then they'll vanish. There they go, boom. Oh, and they all go at once too. That's kind of crazy. So they sync up after the time catches up. Oh, so we caught the phantom where we can see him without all of his smoke around him. So we can actually see what he looks like. That's really cool. That planet is, it's looking like a wiffle ball. That's the white ball that you see in stores with all the holes in it. All right, let's see what happens with the space worm. Where's the space worm? Oh, space worm, where are you, buddy? Oh, oh he's halfway into the planet. That is really weird. And another weird thing that happens is the planet gets super bright and I don't totally know why. All right, now let's check out the jet dudes and see if they do anything cool. All right, here we go, let's take it backwards. Okay, so I don't see any animations coming out of them when we go backwards. Looks cool though. So we don't normally get to see the rotation while we're in the pause mode, which is cool to be able to see it like this. All right, let's see what the, the battleship does. All right, so he's not doing anything that cool. Sorry, dude. Now, if you've been watching my shorts, you'll see that I recently learned how to make the asteroids enormous. So now let's test it in the time reverse and see what happens. Okay, so I, would, I was hoping this thing would continue flipping, but it does not. It stays still. So really there's no difference between backwards and forwards. The planet looks interesting though. It takes on a, a whole different sort of glow. All right, so now let's test out the black hole and see what it does. All right, whoa, it went away. So going back in time actually makes the black hole shrink back to nothing and disappears. That's crazy. All right, we gotta try that again. All right, so here's normal speed. So now we'll reverse time, but very slowly and see what happens. Dude, it's actually shrinking. Oh, that's crazy, but it leaves the fire behind. 
That is cool. Okay, so now let's... So now we're not actually moving at all. Behind the scenes, the game is paused, but the sparks are still moving. That is crazy. That is like a, a, a legit space-time phenomenon. All right, here we go. Super slow-mo. Let's take it in reverse and see what happens. Oh, that's a cool angle. You can see the way it sort of bends the objects around it. Dude. So it shrinks and then it explodes. That is really weird behavior. I did not expect that. All right, now let's try a bunch of rockets and see if those do anything crazy when we go backwards in time. All right, so there's normal speed. All right, now we pause it. All right, the behavior seems to be basically the same, but it still looks really cool. All right, now let's check out this guy. All right, he's paused. Now let's take it in reverse and see how he looks. That is weird the way the planet starts glowing when you take it backwards. All right, so this rocket looks like it still doesn't really change. The animation seems to not be affected by time. Now let's check out the drill dude. Let's see what he does when he starts spinning and we pause it and take it backwards. All right, here we go. Let's go in reverse. Oh, it's so bright you can't really tell. Oh, he is moving. It's definitely moving. All right, now let's play with the lightning and see what it does. So now if we take the lightning backwards, what happens? Oh, that's crazy. It kind of creates like a little, uh, like a little arc between the planet and the lightning source. That is really weird. And you can see the, even when it's paused and we take it backwards, the clouds still react on the planet's surface. And then when we set time the normal direction, the lightning just disappears altogether. It doesn't finish. All right, now let's check out some of these sonic balls. If you don't know what these are or why they're here, Check out my Chaos Emerald World mod. All right, nothing special happening here. Let's move on. Let's see what happens if we throw just a ton of giant meteors at the planet. Oh, they kind of they kind of form up into one giant cluster. And then the planet just evaporates in one second. Quite frankly, that's the way you want to go. If you have to go, instant, vaporized by this. That, that looks like something you find in your backyard and you don't want that. This just gave me an idea. Let's see what happens if we destroy the sun, then we put a bunch of shields around it on the smaller sun, and then we restore the sun with the regeneration missile. Will it destroy all the shields? No, doesn't look like it affected it, but it should have. Well, guys, we learned a lot here today. There's some weird stuff that happens with time when you put it in reverse in Solar Smash. I'm gonna continue messing with this offline. You might see some of my experimentations in my shorts. With every new update that comes out, there are new things we can play with, and it never gets old. This opens up possibilities of lots of different ways to play with time. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Posty, and we'll see you in the next video. Post-posterous. 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 <laughs>